This is Dolany TV, guys. A big welcome back to the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here on Dolany TV. Uh, guys, something important I gotta show you. Yeah, look at these socks, eh? Look at that. A big shout out to Bud Light, as you see my hairy legs here. Bud Light, if you can make it out there, went uh, went to the liquor store, picked myself up some Bud Light for a friend, scored myself some Blue Jays socks. Buddy doesn't know I got the Blue Jays socks, or he'd be peed off. But I got some Blue Jays socks now. Go with my Blue Jays jersey. Life is prime. Anyways, the Blue Jays franchise mode today. We're starting off in Double A. We're taking a look at the pitching rotations. You got Hernandez, Morrow, Shockley, Sedano, and Lucas Harrell. Then you got Leono Campus, Ryan Tapera, who's had a flawless time down here in Double A. Francisco Castro, Manuel Waters, Johns. Swan and Chu, who has picked up uh, quite a few saves down here in Double A. Then you got in the bullpen Mike Balsinger, Balsinger. I know it's Balsinger. Gotta get it down. Balsinger. He's had a good time as a backup uh, kind of starter. Bull Schultz. Dominic Leone's not having a good time. Johnny Thayer's have a solid time for us. He's going to be a big time prospect for us in the future. 70 overall, 21 years old, B potential. Brett Hickman has had two and a third. Then you've got Calvin Dark, who's had five and two-thirds. And Kazahito Yamada, who's had maybe two saves. He's blown a couple. Larry Taylor's had a couple games. And you see not a really bunch of any standouts here in AA or AAA. So let's go down. Kevin Cordova, not doing much. Pedro Gomez has had a good time. Acevedo, Francisco uh, Cervelli's doing, or Cicilline is doing not too bad, 279. And then Andres Jimenez, Andy Jimenez is really coming through for us. He's got a 359 average. Jordan Ledbetter, Belliard, and Nick Ray, Odom, and Christopher Watt off the bench. Watt's had 421 average in two, or 19 at bats. Ted Shepard, the B28 overall. Or B, 28-year-old, is doing okay. Not really the best off the start. Corey Swanson, our B, 18-year-old, 73 overall. He's had a 222 average in 27 at-bats, so he's yet to come up with anything major. But, I mean, he's only had 27 at-bats, which means, compared to some of these guys, he's had played half a season so far. Rory Maxwell, Barry Noblis. Ryan Goins has had three home runs and six RBIs. George Gregor Gregorio Petit, pardon me, I, I just finished the Battle Royale episode. You're going to see that sometime today. I'm butchering names because I've said too many names today. Carlos Alfonso and Juan Gretel, who's not having a very good time back there for the Buffalo Bisons. And you see Woodrow McGreal, who's a 21-year-old first baseman. So Woodrow McGreal getting it done uh, so far. 200 average in 25 at-bats. And Kelvin Ayers, who's had... He's 23 years old, 58 overall. He could turn into something someday. So that is the minor league report. What we're going to do is we're going to play in the... Uh, Triple A here for just three games, see if we get into a critical situation. And we do, but it is a Goodman has a shutout going late in the game. Finish it off. We're not going to get shut. We're not going to let him go. Uh, would I like to stop simulating? No. And here we go. Here is a big situation. We've got Kelvin Ayers at the plate. We're down 3 2. Uh, Alexander is trying to close you out. Let's get a rally going. This is good for us. Let's get into this top nine. Carlos Alfonso at third base. We just want to have some fun with the uh, AAA and AA this year. And I just want to show you guys some of the AAA and AA minor league reports, right? Every once in a while, I'll show you a minor league report. Who's hot, who's not, that kind of stuff. League leaders. Carlos Alfonso, I mean, even if we were to bunt with him, I think uh, Kelvin Ayers could pick up an assist. Or an assist, um, I mean... An RBI, you know what I mean. I've been playing hockey all winter, guys. It's been rough. Just finished that Junior B tournament back on Sunday. Here we go. The at-bat against Ayers. And that will be a high, high strike. We should have been swinging at that. I was expecting something way low. What has he got? He's got a curveball slider and a fastball here. This should be good. We should just be able to contact swing and knock the run in. 
and this is not going to get the job done. This is going to drift back and into his glove, and that will not advance the runner. We're not doing that at all. So Ted Shepard comes up to the plate here. Ted Shepard looking to get a hit. We're going to just drive something a little bit into right field there, knock the run home even to the second baseman or something would be good. This is going to be a pitch out. They think we're bunting. They know it. But we actually aren't, so that's good news for us. We're going to roll these guys into a base hit, and then we'll be laughing the rest of the way. And this one's fouled off. Man, that's a blast by Ted Shepard. Right into the right field foul territory. Almost had that one gone, though. That would have been beautiful. Six pitches here. And that's going to be a high fastball. I've gotten really good at taking the high fastball this year. Sometimes burns me in Diamond Dynasty, but I've been better than I was last year, and that's huge because you go chasing the high fastball, you're susceptible to the low stuff. But there's a deep drive into center field. That's going to get the run home, and that will be... Oh, they got us at the plate again. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Ugh. Ugh. That's two critical situations this year where we're trying to tag with a runner at third and we butcher it both times. That is a major disappointment for me. I'm a little peed off now. That is not where I wanted to be at all. So just a second here as I close my doors, people are showing up into the house. That was very disappointing. So we give up a great critical situation there. We're going to get back into the critical situations with the Blue Jays. A minor league report goes wrong and we're going to simulate to the New York series here where we'll have a little bit of something. And this is a good one. Donaldson has two home runs already. 13-2 to two, the Toronto Blue Jays lead the St. Louis Cardinals. You better believe I'm taking a chance with uh, Donaldson to get a home run in a 13 to do game. Mark Melanson leading the way with home runs here. and Or home runs, pardon me. Nolan Arnauto leading the way with home runs. I'm going to get into this and then we'll end the episode at the end of this. Sean Kelly and Adam Otaveno with the other two league leading saves. And look at this PCI. Look at this friggin' PCI. Donaldson about to crush a homer over the fence. There it was. There was the homer. Just missed it. Late on the fastball, 93 miles an hour. Looked like it was coming in way slow. Don't know why it was late. But there it is. There's the home run. Back deep center field. Goodbye! Home run, Josh Donaldson. And it is three like I told you it was going to be. What a swing by the JD bringer of rain himself. The height, the distance, 433 to straight away center off the wall. What a beauty. Josh Donaldson. Here we go. 18 to 4 the score in the bottom half of the ninth inning. We're going to close this out. We're going to go to... Second base and then go oh man we got turned around we got turned around there I forgot which way I'm throwing the controls guys and that is a disaster That's why I hate player lock sometimes I throw myself for a loop and this should be the end of the game here as the Toronto Blue Jays If we lost this one, I'm gonna be peed off But Josh Donaldson the player of the game three home runs seven RBIs in the game Wow 18 to 4 the victory for the Toronto Blue Jays. Guys, thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like, and I will catch you guys in the next one.